happiness through curiosity on TRS clips. Part of your Marco's training is details about diving. You've actually dived supposedly where Dwarka existed. Yeah. You've dived near Mahabalipuram. What's the scariest thing you've seen while diving? Yeah, scariest was when I was diving on PNS Ghazi, uh, the Earth's while uh, uh, 1971 war uh, thing. As, because when we went down, how do I explain it? Uh, imagine our cricket team returning after winning the World Cup, you know, everybody chucking um, confettis, you know, those white things falling from all over. And, you know, even a long shot, you can just see white strips and the team moving the center. That is how it was when I went on to Ghazi. Years of fishing nets and trawls have covered it. And all these fishing nets are standing around the Samarin. And it's pretty creepy for a diver to go down because your legs, your pipes, all are getting entangled in them. You know, what initially strikes you is that you're getting into one kind of a quagmire where you're not going to come out of it. I just want to tell the listeners that we're talking to a commando here whose job <laughs> is to go and recover dead bodies from rivers, lakes, ponds. So if sir is saying it's scary, uh, we need to understand the fear angle here was really, really <laughs> It's a very intense. Un unnerving, uncomfortable feeling when you are getting, you are trying to reach, uh, uh, you know, a structure underwater at 23, uh, 26 meters depth. That's the depth in which Ghazi is lying. And you're not able to reach it because of this years of fishing nets getting, you know, entangled with the Samarin. And uh, when you reach there, it looks like a big whale, which has uh, deteriorated, decomposed, and you can only see the ribs. And the front portion is kind of blown outwards. When you were exploring the wreck, yeah. Is there anything you want to share with the listeners? Like what yes, did you yes. When you asked me what was so scary, we, we tried entering through the foxhole, I mean the front portion of the Samarin. Yeah. We call it the foxhole and the stern. Uh, through one of those skeletal you know, uh, formations and out came one of those big fish. You know, big when I say about eight feet long. <laughs> out of nowhere, you know. Not a shark. Not a shark, of course. Okay. And we were two buddies. And luckily, we, we had a camera in hand. We had our headlamp in hand. In fact, one of the divers dropped the camera <laughs> <laughs> and was rushing up. Uh, the first thing that you're taught in diving is never rush up to the surface. Mm. Because mm. you can have an air embolism and uh, you know have a lung burst. What's the depth again? 26 to 20, 28 meters depth. Oh. She's just about two miles from the harbor mouth mm. where she was waiting, you know, uh, to knock down our uh, carrier. You you might have to give some context to the listeners about uh, Ghazi. In the year 1971, 14th of November that she sailed out of Ka Karachi. And uh, the Indian uh, Navy had, uh, you know, made our adversary to believe that the aircraft carrier was in Vishakapatnam, while she had never left Bombay Harbour. It was through a series of misinformation campaign, a series of signals and uh, communication, you know, open uh, communication, which made them believe that the aircraft carrier was in Vaisai. And so she was sailed out, Ghazi, with the sole mission of destroying INS Vikrant, and also vessels of opportunity on its way. Mm. So she was sailed out on 14th November in 1971, and she took about two weeks to come this side. And on my birthday, that is 28th November, uh, was when she got the orders to arm her torpedoes and be ready to uh, destroy Vikrant. Unfortunately for them, um, they have to come and positively identify before they launch their top torpedoes. And one of the theories uh, suggests that uh, when she came up to take, um, you know, a visual confirmation, that is only the periscope out, maybe they encountered a, a larger naval vessel. And to uh, avoid collision, she went in for a um, 
emergency dive and the depth being so less must have hit the bottom so hard that the already armed torpedoes and uh, you know uh, mines which they had kept for deployment must have exploded, exploded. Mm. in the forward section so that is how the uh, forward section has a blast uh, and why is this important for the indian navy because it's a part of history no the very fact that uh, we managed to um, miss inform miss guide another adversary uh, to move such an asset all along you know from all over the west to the east coast and uh, which uh, unfortunately ended in its own explosion and sinking mm. uh, is itself is a big success god like during world war uh, you know the landing on normandy uh, was saved because uh, there was a misinformation campaign which went on for 2 years mm. that the landing was happening in calais and not in normandy mm. and the germans uh, left that coast unguarded mm. so it's a big success as far as military intelligence goes so if you enjoy this video subscribe to trs clips for more